GamesWeasel.com Review The original Uncharted took me by surprise as I'd never heard of it when I put it in my PlayStation 3 and then I absolutely loved it from the moment I started playing. It goes without saying I've been looking forward to this sequel and a couple of years on it's bigger and better than the last game. This time Nathan Drake's on the search for Marco Polo's treasure. Of course this leads him on a journey around the world with a few twists and turns in the storyline and of course some very different locales to visit. There are jungles, underground caverns, cities and snowy mountains to explore and the game is very much a mix of platforming and third person shooting. Climbing and jumping is somewhere in between Tomb Raider and Infamous. Nathan won't usually jump into oblivion even if you try to tell him to and he can now hang and shoot at the same time and use riot shields to walk towards enemies and stay in cover. There's also a new stealthy way to play which you're shown how to use when you break into a museum. You can choose to take people out from behind without alerting anyone and can even get into fisticuffs and have a good old face to face scrap. There are also some fantastic set pieces in the game too, fighting a gunship, battling on top of a train and jumping from jeep to jeep during a car chase all spring to mind and the set pieces and action blend seamlessly into each other to create something akin to taking part in your very own action movie. The story is also very well told and the voice acting and camera direction isn't quite up to the standards of the Metal Gear Solid games but they're pretty close. And once you complete the game you can go back into the chapters and try to find all the hidden treasure and play the game with tweaks you can buy including infinite ammo, one shot kills etc. And there's also a multiplayer mode in there for good measure which is fantastic so it should keep on giving for a bit even when you finish the 10 hour story mode. The game's not perfect, there was a moment during the final boss fight when it glitched on me and I had to go back to the restart checkpoint and there are some frustrating instant death moments and difficulty spikes. Still, if you want to be taken on an adventure that's far more fun than any Indiana Jones movie, you need this game. Uncharted 2 gets 9 out of 10. You've been watching a review from Games Weasel. If you want to get the show each week, which includes video game reviews, news, previews, competitions, and special features, then head over to gamesweasel.com for our video podcast, Games Weasel TV. Gamesweasel.com.